Hello guys, so today I finally do the proper teardown of our battery and this is the one that I am going to work on today. I am going to disconnect the BMS, I am going to take it apart. There are some things that you have already seen me do several times in our videos like taking off the screws that hold this together and yeah, I am not going to repeat all those things. But the new things that I need to show you, I will definitely show you like taking off the front part of our BMS, uh, taking off the bolts from here, uh, the right sequence of uh, disconnecting the BMS, and then the right sequence of disconnecting all the batteries as well. So this is definitely going to be an interesting video, so stay tuned and let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start with disconnecting the, so opening up the BMS. So I'm going to take off the bolts over here and over here and that's pretty simple so I'll do it quickly. Well, as a safety precaution, before I do any of these, I make sure that the power within the system is turned off. I make sure that the power within the system the circuit breaker is off and the thing is actually powered on. Currently, this is power on, this is power on. So this is how it looks when it's completely powered up. So I'm going to take uh, the bolts off for the BMS. Yeah, uh, the screws, just screws. They are not big enough to be called bolts. Okay, so I'm taking off the screws for the BMS. Okay guys, so I successfully removed all the screws around the front cover of the battery and so I can now easily move the front part of the battery. But I am not necessarily going to take it away or move it anywhere because I first have to disconnect them in the right procedure, uh, in the right post yeah, in the right sequence, in the right sequence and make sure everything is safe. So as I said before, the right sequence is to uh, disconnect the power to the BMS. The disconnect the power to the BMS, I will show you. And then I will disconnect the, these wires from here. Also connecting the batteries to the BMS, then I will disconnect the main uh, circuit batteries. So that's the right procedure. So let me bring you closer for a better look at it as I do it. So with the disconnecting of the BMS power source, this is it. This is the BMS power source and we just have to turn it and pull it whilst we turn. So this is disconnected now. So now the BMS has no power going to it. So I will calmly place it. I'll just hold on to it for now. And the next thing I need to disconnect is these wires. I'm going to disconnect them from the BMS. And they are connected over here. Okay, so now I can lift them up a little bit. They are connected over here. So I'm going to disconnect them from the circuit board. So as I was saying guys, this is a full set and with your own batteries you would never need to do this you should not so maybe at this point i should put that that thing on top of the screen that do not try this at home yeah you should you should not try this at home this is not meant to be done by you if you buy it as a full setup battery just use it as a battery as a setup because we have carefully put it together as you can see this is well protected over here there's more to make sure that the batteries don't ever move the cables have been managed very well, very well. It looks really clean in here. So if you buy it that way, you have no reason to open it up like this. But this is a personal project of mine. So I am allowed to take it apart and um, yeah, look inside and look look around. When I'm done, I will be able to put it back together. So that is also not a big deal. As you can see, we have put some extra glue over here on the the circuit board just to keep it all firmly 
attached so I am having to deal with the slow process of removing so I'm going ahead to remove it and then I will go ahead to disconnect it from the circuit board so I will continue once I'm done disconnecting this okay so now I think I have removed enough uh, of the glue to make sure I can easily disconnect them so I will start with the first one I just have to apply some okay, let me adjust the camera yeah. so I just have to apply some force to it yeah, and it comes apart this would not usually happen because of our glue and the second one comes apart third one fourth one so there are four of these connected to the circuit board and I have disconnected them now the BMS is completely disconnected from the battery itself so I'll go ahead and the next step that I'll take is to disconnect the entire uh, the battery itself from the circuit breaker. So for the next stage I will go ahead and disconnect these terminals and I'll start with the negative one and move to the positive one. Yeah, that makes it very easy. Now I take them off one at a time. This one comes off. If I had taken the entire case apart, it would be much easier. But because I have it, I have to take it easy. Yeah, so now the battery is completely disconnected from the BMS. Now I have that apart. So that means my BMS is completely, completely disconnected from my battery. And as you can see, this is it. Uh, as you can see, this is it. Yeah, this is the entire setup. Yeah, this is the entire thing that controls everything and manages everything and keeps your battery safe while it's in use. This is our BMS. So I'm going to set this down and come back to the battery. Yeah, so now we can see that these cells, are, our cables are managed nicely, as you can see. This is, this is like a, a proper internal look at our batteries, okay? So you guys take a good look around, okay? Take a good look around. Our cable management is on point, like, after we connected them to all these, we also manage them on the side right here like this. Yeah. So, as you can see, they are also bolted. They are uh, screwed down over here, over here, and over here. So, whether you turn your battery this way or that way, they are not bolted. There is also glue in there, just making sure that everything is staying in place. So with our batteries, these things, things are really safe and really compactly made and you can trust them to stay safe for as long as you would use them. So I'll go ahead and disconnect them now since the positive and negative terminals are open. So the series connection has not been closed. So I'll go ahead and I'll start from the bottom over here and come all the way up here, disconnect each and every one of them. And yeah, that's the next step for me before I even pull them apart from their cage that we put them in. Everything has been completely disconnected and still looks cool so the next thing is to take this person away take this person away and see if i can 
take the individual cells out. I like to hold them, I like to have them in my hands and let me do some cleaning up. Okay, so now I'm going to take the bracings away. I'll start from the top ones. And I do have the machine drill, but from my experience with trying to take off the front part of the, the battery, the VMS uh, part, I think it's, uh, I have been told that it's better to start with the yeah, this normal screwdriver. I can complete the process with the drill. Yeah, and this seems to, yeah, this makes it comes apart much, much easier than. So this was what was keeping it in place and all of them are coming out of place. Oh, but there's one, one last thing I have to remove. I'll get, give you a closer look and tell you about it. So before I can actually start moving my cells out, I have to um, remove these things. These are the temperature um, sensors for the battery that connect to the BMS and tell the BMS the temperature details of the cells over here. We have about four of them in this and that should give you a good average reading of all the uh, cells here and they are also glued down so I have to get rid of the glue and get rid of everything so that I can move them and take a good look at myself. As you can see, all our, our batteries are very well made, like nothing would harm these things, nothing would take the cells out of, the, the temperature sensors out of place because they are well glued. It's not easy to get them apart. It takes quite a lot of effort and even the access that you need to get to getting access to it is not easy so this these two braces come with the rest of the batteries uh, the rest of the wires i just have to tilt them which one is here okay this one yeah so this was for our i'm not going to take this apart so because i plan to uh put the whole battery back together so i'll leave this like this and they should make it easy for me when I'm putting it back together. Even when I, I want to use it for a DIY project, I will use this to demonstrate a DIY project, but I'll still keep it like this to make things easy for myself, okay? I have to make it easy when I can. So this is the entire teardown process. I think I have come to the end. This is the final part of the video. This is truly the end, because now I can see the end of the There isn't much more to show over here. So in our next video, I am going to, as I was saying, the only time, the only time you would need to do this to your own battery is you have this, but it's not fitting in the space and you have plans to reshape the arrangements of the cells and still use our VMS to manage it. So I'm also going to do that. I'm going to do my own DIY project. I'm really going to have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to do my own DIY project and I will put them together in a straight line and connect them to the VMS. Yeah, I will have fun, a lot, a lot of fun with it. So that's the next video. Come see my DIY video next time. See you. Bye-bye.